Okay, this is going to be a short little video on the wiring up a, the 6 volt motor for the older bugs, Beatles, 1963-64 and earlier. Okay, this is the uh, wiper motor. This is off of my 63 bug that I'm doing for my daughter. It took a while to find the wiper transmission bracket. It's kind of a hard piece to locate. Uh, but we happen to locate it on eBay. So here's the post. Anyways, getting to the post. Okay, this, this top post is the 54D. And that will go to the 54D lug on your switch. The middle one right here is 31B and that will go to your 31B on your switch. Uh, and the bottom one is 54 and that will go to 54 on your switch. Now 54 is the parking brake uh, which will allow the wipers to, to rest in the parking position. Uh, just got to remember you, you got to have all this stuff grounded. It's, it's ground on the chassis right here. So we'll move on to the switch. Here's the switch. And if I put it in the upright position, we can we can take a look at the back. I got wires hanging all over it. But this uh, these two on the top right here that are are connected together. Well, this this one here is going to go to power, and that's 54. So this is the parking leg right here. This wire right here, and then this one right here that I got right on top of the switch. That's going to go to your fuse box. 54D is on the other side on the top and that's going to go to 54D on your on your motor and that is your speed control okay your power pretty much to the motor or, or your speed control this bottom one right here is uh, let's get this out of there is uh, 31B right here and that goes to 31B on the motor which is the middle lug okay middle lug a lot of people think this tab right here is broken off, but it's not, it's just not used. And depending on what position the switch in, it provides a, a circuit to ground. Okay, we got a six volt motor, so we're gonna have to put in an inline reducer, or resistor I should say, and uh, that way you don't burn up the motor. And this goes in between the fuse box and the top leg of the switch which is off of 54 okay just keep in mind 54 is the parking position which is your bottom terminal on your motor so you got park position right here you got switch to ground right there and then you got your speed which is on the top and to see if your plunger is working you can take this little hose right here blow into it and push the button here so the diaphragms in there are still good no reason to replace this switch a brand new switch is going to cost you from J bugs out in California it's going to cost you about uh, 64 65 bucks pretty expensive for this little guy right here but you got to have some kind of a switch that's got the parking register on it or or the wiper arms are just going to land wherever they want if you put in some kind of toggle switch they won't go back to the to the rest position so let's take a look see if the motor works so you want to land a ground wire when you go to test the switch if it's not on the car right in here just put it in between where where the dash normally goes and then you can go ahead and ground it with the clip here's the other side of the wire To the ground that's right here underneath the motor clip so just clip these two together so they stay put clip those like that so they stay put and now we'll see if we can hook up the motor so I have a resistor right here that we're going to use it's hooked up uh, onto the switch of course where it's supposed to be that's the top side of the switch remember the next one right next to it is 54 the park position okay we got our switch grounded now we got our resistor in line we'll hook up the leads to the battery and then we're going to just touch the negative post and then the hot post and see if it runs make sure the switch is in the on position 
by pulling the switch out and then we'll connect the leads to the battery there's a negative positive and as you can see it runs just fine now I'm gonna go ahead and switch it off but since I only got two hands we'll just uh, manually do it here I'm just gonna switch the switch closed you retouch the leads back to the battery again and it should go into the park position bam right into the park position done deal put it back in the car call it good to go and drive it to the wheels fall off just keep in mind that the uh, resistor is going to get hot so mount it somewhere uh, safe hope that helps